Wedding photography is about telling a story on the wedding day of the bride and groom because one photo cannot tell the whole story. It's a compilation of photographs from the preparation until the reception. To tell a good story, you must set the same style throughout the whole wedding. It's like watching a movie. It will be weird if the color palette of the movie changing from teal and orange to say peachy color. When I just started 10 years ago, I don't have any workflow or a system in editing for Lightroom or Photoshop to make my photos look consistent. And then I realized the problem is because when you edit thousands of photos, you want it to finish fast. Maybe because, because you want to do something else or it was most it's almost deadline and you have tons of other images to edit so today i will show you how i edit my photos in lightroom so you can get consistent result from start until finish so let's get into it hello everyone when i say consistent result it doesn't mean applying the same preset for the whole event but consistency in controlling the exposure level and white balance which i know can be set on camera but I shoot on auto white balance 100% of the time so yeah so this is from the recent wedding that I did so this is getting ready part okay few poses the ceremony until here getting ready for the reception the reception itself and couple portraiture that is a normal Malay wedding in Malaysia if you need if you notice at one glance you can see how the ambience change um, so let's do the getting ready part first so first what I do is to apply the preset on the first photo and then slide to the end of the photos hold control button click and click sync turn off the white balance exposure and crop this way, the preset will apply to all the photos. And then click secondary display. This window will pop up. I suggest maximize the window because we will be doing the editing here. So select is the one that the photos that we will edit. Candidate is your referral. I'm using the first photo that I did to the referral for all the getting ready photos. Adjust the exposure as best as you can to match the candidate photos. On to the next photos. So I'll be using the left photos as candidate because it's changes in lighting condition. So click next photos, click on the candidate box and then click at the previous photo. Uh, and then start editing again. And then you continue part by part using the same preset. And now what you will get is almost consistent editing from start to finish. When you edit without looking at the previous photo or without referral photos, you tend to edit according to your mood at that time. So this technique will kind of force you to stay consistent. Hope this helped. If you find this helpful, consider subscribe because there will be more video like this and I try to post every week so thank you